So Goro, the penny stock, crashed 29% in a day. And uh, you're probably like, what? Why are we talking about this? Well, I'll tell you. Um, I made a video about this Larry Jones guy uh, trying to warn people because I think there is a possibility that he was paid to pump this penny stock. And he's got a significant following, right? So there might be a lot of people who really got hurt by this. And um, this is the chart of the penny stock right here. Uh, you can see the last five years is down 76%. And it's basically only going one direction. You guys can see which direction it's going. And um, this is the uh, year chart, which is also down and basically just fell off a cliff. And the reason why I started making videos about this, because I knew that in the past, him and his buddies, so this is like your Stockmo uh, and your Larry Jones guy, uh, they have been paid uh, in the past. I have the contracts actually showing it. And you can watch the little videos if you like. Um, but uh, sometimes these people get paid like $20,000 a video to pump up penny stocks. And um, when I called them out on it a few months ago, and you guys can see these videos here, um, he basically called me racist. <laughs> now, why do I mention this, uh, you know, Sakamoto dude is because he hangs out with the Larry Jones dude and the Keenan dude. They're all friends. And as of now, uh, Larry Jones is now pumping a gold mining stock. It smells like pump and dump. And I just want to let this out uh, to you guys to, to just be aware and protect yourselves. Okay. No, there's no guarantee that it's coming down to 150. There's no guarantee that it's coming down to 160. So that's why I'm dipping my toe. Then if it comes down to 160, I'm going to buy a little more aggressively. If it comes down to 150 ish, if to pray for those that speak ill of me, and that's difficult. I am not going to lie. It's difficult to pray for somebody when they are misrepresenting you, lying on you, and actually just being saying just racist statements. Some bony, bony face freak, you know, dog dragging your name. Just being saying just racist statements. Some bony, bony face freak, you know, dog dragging your name. I'm not making it up. And uh, he didn't necessarily refute the claim that he was paid the penny stock. He's like, oh, you know, that Chris guy, he's a racist. Um, and, um, you know, you can take a look at this here. This is another one that him and his buddy were, were pumping up. Uh, it's called Verb Stock. In the last five years, it's down 97%. Now, 17 cents. I mean, this is a, a penny stock. And um, you can always kind of wonder about these things when, you know, these uh, YouTubers, like, are just pumping up random stuff. And this is sort of why I put these warnings out. Be careful out there because uh, these small companies uh, essentially can be easily manipulated and uh, they do pay YouTubers to essentially pump their stock. Um, the other thing is, too, part of this uh, team of scammers, uh, Stockmo's on as well. He's he's pumping all his crypto all the time and whatever nonsense he is. I don't really watch it that much, but I have to put these warnings out from time to time because this is a real thing. And uh, I remember when the um, the whole Goro stock thing came out and uh, they were telling people, oh, you know, uh, I did my research and this is just a great company and stuff. And they never show you the website. They don't really talk or give a specific reason like why they picked this one. They're just like kind of seemingly seems random. And this is the thing, guys, and, this, and I'm just being honest. Now, um, we can all get things wrong, right? Uh, for example, you know, let's say you, you pick a Netflix or, or a Meta or something like that, or you pick Apple or Tesla or something like that. Like, like, you can get that wrong. But we're talking about a legitimate company, a profitable company, these kind of things. And yes, a person can get that wrong. But when suddenly YouTubers start talking about random penny stocks, be very, very careful because there is a possibility uh, that they were paid. Um, another of their friends, uh, I, his name is Stock Curry, and I was I was noticing something kind of strange about this. Um, so I made a video about him, and I'm just telling you, these all, all these guys are friends. They run in the same circle. Um, I, I made a video about him a few months ago, and um, essentially, um, this is my my memory of it is that he wanted to be a, a pastor. You guys can see it here. This is like real Christian lives. You know, Scott, Scott Curry's his name, but his YouTube channel is Stock Curry, and it's very interesting because I noticed on his um, channel. Uh, recently now he changed the description and now he's saying uh, Stock Curry is a former Morgan Stanley and Merrill Lynch investment banker with over 20 years of trading experience. And the reason why I mentioned that, I just read the first part, because I, I remember looking him up like eight months ago and I remember, and I, and, and I couldn't find it because it's all gone now, but I'm just, you can trust me on this one. Um, I, I remember that uh, he said he did work at like Morgan Stanley and Merrill Lynch, but he was like a web web page designer kind of person, like like a you know, uh, how can I say, N not anything in financial stuff like that. You know, it's it's like it's like saying, yes, you worked at Morgan Stanley, but, you know, your job was, you know, mopping the floor or whatever. Or in this case, his job, my understanding was like a, a web developer. So it's kind of weird that he's like saying he was an investment banker with over 20 years of trading experience. I actually think this is a blatant lie. I, I, I'm, I'm not making it up. So I usually don't just say, hey, this is like, guys, this is like a blatant lie. But I, I actually think this is a blatant lie. So I don't know. Maybe he's telling the truth. Maybe he worked at Morgan Stanley for 20 years. But it's weird when you look him up. 
um, you know, he had like a storm chasing YouTube channel and this is the kind of suits that he wears and he wanted to be a Christian pastor. This is his, you know, web page where he says this is the we profit day and com, And I mean, you can see it for yourself. And, and to me, like this kind of stuff, you're Larry Jones, your stock Mo or the stock Curry guy or, or the stocks with Josh guy, another one of their, their friends, all these people running the same circles where they talk about like random stocks. Like, it, it's like, I just want to put these warnings out there because some of these people are just blatant liars. Uh, lying about their credentials. Um, I, I'll give you an example. The uh, Larry Jones guy, his real credentials are he was an Uber driver. And uh, I think he went to like IIT to learn, you know, computer technician for like a year or so and then dropped out or, or a couple months, something like that. I mean, this is the kind of people we're talking about. And basically, to, to be fairly frank, they, they take advantage of people who don't have a lot of experience. And it's really, really troubling. So I understand uh, people who are fans of these people are, are, you know, watch my video and they're like, oh, Chris, you're just a liar. You're just hating on Larry Jones. I'm just telling you guys, uh, it happened. The Goro stock has completely crashed and um, it looks to be a scam. And I'm just warning you, some of these people are, are blatant liars. and They're trying to sell you classes. Another one of their friends, Keenan Grace, he is this kind of person as well. Uh, he just pumps you nonsense all the time. And, and uh, his thing is... um. It's all about, uh, you know, the rich are trying to hold you down and he just pumps conspiracy theories, this kind of stuff. So anyway, I, I, I just putting this warning out for you, and this is the basic warning. If any of these sort of random YouTubers are talking about some sort of random penny stock, there is a possibility that they were paid. OK, so be very, very careful. And um, especially in this market, um, you know, if, if you've never heard of the company, if you don't know what it does, if you don't know what it is, just stay away. It's, it's your safest bet. So. Anyway, hopefully this is useful help for you. Please be careful and I'll catch you guys in the next video.